Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So finally, finally, CSIR has announced results for uh, CSIR December 2022 and uh, June 2023 joint exam and that is not available on the NTA website. If you will go to the NTA website, you will not get that. It is on CSIR website, okay, on CSIR HRDG website. I will give you link to that website in the description. So this is the website. You can go over there directly. All you have to do is come a little down and go to this news and announcement section. Here it shows the news that joint CSIR UGC net cutoff and a joint CSIR UGC net result. So both the things are released. Let's click on the cutoff to see what the cutoff went. Okay, so once you will click on this, you will be able to download a PDF. Uh, so yeah, I have already downloaded it and that's how it looks. Okay, so let's talk about the cutoff for all the categories. Uh, this, uh, I'll be talking about chemical sciences. You can look for the other subjects as well if you belong to that. So basically, if you look upon the cutoff for uh, this, uh, for JRF, okay, that is for Junior Research Fellowship JRF Net. And if you talk about chemical sciences, it went 53.75, which becomes around 107.5 marks, okay. So if you got 107.5 marks or above, you have qualified for JRF under unreserved category then for ews category it went around a 48.25 uh, that becomes 96.5 marks okay so for this you have 96.5 marks for ews category for obc it is a 47.25 which becomes 94.5 marks so this time uh, the cutoff of obc is lower than ews category then for SC category, it is 37.25, which becomes 74.5 uh, marks, okay. Uh, for ST category, that becomes uh, 30.75, that becomes uh, 61.5 marks. And for PW, uh, PWD candidate, it becomes 50 marks. So these are the cutoff for uh, different categories for qualifying JRF, okay. So now the next is for the cutoff for net LS. Okay. So for this, if you will see, it goes till three decimal places. Okay. That's quite new thing here. So if you will see the cutoff for LS for unreserved category, it went around 96.75 marks. Okay. That's where the cutoff went for qualifying LS uh, from unreserved category. For EWD, uh, EWS. Uh, category it is 43.425 which becomes 86.85 mark okay so it is 86.85 mark then for obc category it is uh, 42.525 which becomes 85.85.05 mark okay for sc category it is a 33.525 which becomes 67. 05 67.05 marks for st category it is 27.675 which becomes 55.35 marks okay 55.35 marks and for pwd category it is 50 marks so see the cutoff cannot can never go below 25 percent that's why or for below 50 marks that's why that is the lowest which you will have so anybody who has uh, who is from pwd category if he has got more than 50 marks he would have qualified for jrf or net both okay okay so let's talk about the cutoff first of all 107.5 that's the cutoff which went in this year okay this was as expected because we all were expected we all were expecting it to go somewhere around 105 to 110 and that's belonging to like it is belonging to that particular range and yeah the result is nothing unusual over here it's quite as expected okay do let me know what you guys think about the result or the cutoff over here okay so the next thing which you will come across or which you will see is the result section so if you click on this you will be able to download a pdf which consists of all the like all the uh, categories okay all those who have qualified so you have to if you have qualified if you have got if you have got marks more than this then your roll number will be here in this list okay all you have to do is search for your roll number uh, from your admit card so and then see that where your roll number belongs to whether it belongs to jrf net csir that means whether you have qualified csir jrf or whether you have qualified um, if you come down a little bit so if you if your marks belong to the section 2 that will be for jrf net 
UGC. That means we have qualified UGC JRF. Okay. Understand that there are two types of JRF. One is CSIR JRF. One is UGC JRF. I'll make a detailed video about it very soon. I'll explain you everything over there. But yeah, that's what it is. So see in which section your result is uh, like where your roll number is. And if you come a more down over here, you will see the LS qualified rank. Okay. That will be in the section. Yeah. So this is section three, which is uh, those who have just qualified net, not JRF. Okay. So this is uh, for those who, who have just qualified for lecturership or assistant professor. So just look upon your rank, look upon your result, what rank you have got. Do let me know in the comment section below which rank you have got and uh, which JRF you are, CSIR JRF or UGC JRF or you have qualified LS. Please do let me know in the comment section. I will be waiting for your, res uh, for your uh, like responses. Also, I want to see who has got uh, like rank one or two and what are their course okay that will be very uh, like that will be uh, i will be very excited to see that okay so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hello everyone so if you are preparing for csr net exam or gate exam and if you want to prepare along with me then i teach on an academy plus platform you can join my classes over there for live sessions regarding csr net exam as well as for gate exam so if you are preparing for your exam and want to join some classes an academy is the best place where you can get all the live classes along with that you will get recording of the classes plus you will get a lot of practice sessions where you can practice questions along with that you will also get access to notes where you can have short notes for your preparation and you can enhance your preparation with that right so in case if you are wondering where to take or from where to prepare for the upcoming exam an academy is the place where you can go for it so you can join an academy plus using my referral code that is n underscore huda uh, the link is there in the description of this video you can use that link to join an academy plus and watch all my classes live as well as recorded so join an academy now and let's crack this exam together